Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I flip homes and you guys make fun of my design choices. You guys are really mean, by the way. My God, the last episode, everyone was making fun of my house. I'm not joking. Look at the screen right now. There's so many comments. I'm not usually bothered, and I'm not really bothered, let's be honest here. But uh, yeah, man, you guys are savage when it comes to home design. Anyways, I listened to the comments and I have listened. The majority of you have said, let's not make this our office. So I agree with you. Uh, and pretty much everyone only like the, uh, the bedroom. I mean, I definitely agree. The bedroom's the best part, but I, I was, I was happy with this. I spent like four hours on this and you guys just made fun of it. Saltiness aside, uh, I'm going to build whatever the heck I want anyways. And a lot of you don't like my cobblestone, but I like it. Oh God. I have missed a piece. Also, why are the windows different colors? You know what? I'm done. I don't want to look, look more into this because I'm going to figure out more things I missed. Uh, also, a lot of you said there was an attic. I think you're right. And let's take a little peek, I guess. Yep, there's dev. I mean, obviously there's an attic. What the hell am I thinking? All right, so we just got to open this up and wait, I can't even. Oh, there we go. I guess I just have a, I'm very tall. Man, I thought for sure there'd be something up here. Now, obviously, I could build up here. Problem is, I don't really... I don't know where I put the stairs besides literally where they are. But then that just kind of ruins everything else. So, I think we're just going to patch this bad boy up and sell it. I'm also just going to sell this window just because I don't actually like the look of it from the outside. So, yeah, we'll uh, patch everything up and see how much this house is worth. Uh, from what I remember, it wasn't worth that much. All right, there we... Oh, my God, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I just realized what I did. All right, let's let's uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, guys. And voila. Now we just got to get rid of this staircase. Can I sell the whole thing? Yes, I can. And obviously patch the roof. All right, and if you remember, there were these ugly black borders around all my windows. Well, I have fixed that as well just because I wanted to do it. It would bother me if I had to sell this without doing that. So there we go. All right, and I actually patched that up anyways because I had what we needed. So we'll just sell this now and sell that. And yeah, that looks way better now that it doesn't have those black borders. I really like the look of it. Maybe I should have kept that window, but I'm fine with this. And this is all our stats. So yeah, we bought it for 51, put almost 100,000 into it. And there's an auction fee cost. We'll put it up and see what Kate thinks. 172, so that's, man, 43 grand profit for literally four hours of work. We sold our first house that we actually restored. Speaking of restoring, next goal is to obviously work on this. Now, a lot of you suggested to do something that I actually like, uh, and that is do one room at a time. You know, every episode we'll do one room of this house, and hopefully by the end of it, it will either look absolutely wacky or awesome. So I think that's going to be my goal. We're going to do one room at a time and take our time on it, and hopefully by the end of this series, we'll have an awesome house here. Uh, but I am going to have to earn more money than what... Actually, 184000 Oh, I forgot. I get my base investment back, obviously. So I have a lot of money right now. I do still want to very much do the the uh, random jobs because they seem fun. Uh, we don't. We haven't been to Coral Root Forest, I don't think, either. And this looks like a very modern home. This sounds fun. This person wants some remodeling and refurnishing. I need something more functional and comfortable. Okay. I don't know what that means. Let's just go. All right. Here we are at a beautiful house, as you can see. I'm super excited to see some of these new homes in this obviously richer neighborhood uh all right so what do we need to do just simple stuff we looks like we're doing some flooring and then just refurnishing the place with a lot of beige things it looks like all right so i didn't notice until now but it looks like we are going to be installing a whole new wall i don't know why i like this being more open but hey the client is always right so We'll throw in this wall here, and then obviously that's what we're going to be painting, and I have, I've have i already bought the door. We just need to add the door to this place. All right, so yeah, we got a rather small room here. I've moved over my red carpet. What is underneath the carpet? Hold on. <laughs> I think it's an iPad. My bad. All right, but yeah, this is going to be a tight room. I almost wish I didn't put this wall in, but hey, again, I can't do what I want to do. I have to do what the client wants. Okay, so I'm thinking, how many of these are we supposed to buy? Six. So I can probably go all the way over to this wall. Oh, of course, it's not going to fit. That's fine. All right. Well, again, not my house, but this is the last thing I would do at this house. But there we go. We have a little office. 
Just need to sell the pretty clock because uh, we installed the, the ugly clock. <laughs> Dude, I truly hate this house. And I guess this clutter over here is just supposed to stay here. All right. Well, we got faded paint. I think we know what we're painting at least. All right. Now with this wall, I definitely need something on it. So we're just going to move this stuff over. Oh, God. Over. Yeah, we're going to keep that there. It's so bad. Like, why would you? Okay, wait. Where, where am I doing this? Because this might change everything. Uh, it's in here. So I think it's just the flooring. It is. Okay. I mean, maybe that will look better. I don't know. All right. Yeah, there's what the client wanted. I hate it. I'm leaving. Um, oh my god. There's still so much more to do. How did I miss four... Wait, what? Where are these chairs going? I feel like I'm missing something. And by missing something, I mean a freaking kitchen table. All right, I'm just going to add these to the living room, I guess. All right, and honestly, with the flooring, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, we're only one star done, though, so we have a lot more we need to do. I just need to figure out where exactly they want me to do more. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Ah, well, it looks like we're going to be doing this room. Why? I like it. Why are you going to red? This brown vibe we got going on is nice. I'm questioning everything about this house. I'm sorry. Where's the wood going? Oh, no, not the wall, too. Actually, that's, that's going to look cool. All right, yeah, that wall makes it look extra nice in here. I do really like this room, actually. And I just sold with missing two tiles. Damn it, where are they? Ah, there it is behind the stupid picture. And now I've ru ruined the whole room trying to find it. It's pretty bad. I couldn't find the final room. It's because this, this door is impossible to see. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is it. I had a plant in front of it, too. And yes, what is this room now? This is the weirdest house, man. Oh, God. Oh, this is a big job. Okay. I feel like I'm in maximum security or something. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I guess the only thing we're keeping is the light. Everything else is gone. Even the freaking light switch. Which one? What is that one? What is that one even for? So yeah, we're going to convert this sad bedroom to a very nice bathroom with lots of plants, I think. What am I building? What? What is this room for? Oh, God. Okay. Is this... This isn't the bathroom, is it? I, I am so confused right now. Why is... Why am I doing this? I'm getting even more confused at what the hell's going on in this room. Why? Why is this going green? I feel like I'm building a green room right now to like grow plants or something. I don't. I. What is this? <laughs> oh, this is legit a bathroom. Ah, dude, look at the size of this. This is. Why is this? Okay, so. Um, this is the weirdest design ever. Why? Why the green? I don't know. Obviously, this is like a gardening room. Okay, but there we go. We have a very white bathroom and like the whole green. The, it, the, the, I didn't choose this. The, the game told me to paint that green. Why? I don't know. Voila, we are done and get me the hell out of here. I don't like this room at all. Um, all right. Well, that was the weirdest job ever. I'm glad I'm done it. Forgot to move this back to where I originally had it. I also haven't found a trash can, so the trash is just staying there. Let's get out of here. And just like that, we earned the same amount of profit on this as we did our house that we flipped, pretty much. Which is why I'm doing these jobs. All right, it is time to finally start working on this place. Now, looking at it right from the start, the thing I don't like is how many freaking walls are in this. It's very tightly packed. I mean, it's a big house. It just doesn't feel like it because there's so many walls everywhere. So I definitely want to break down some walls. I'm thinking I might actually just turn this into a kitchen with a massive dining room. And then I might bring a living room up here by breaking out this wall, maybe, which was my starting room or something. All right. Yeah. You know what? I think what I'm going to do right now is the bedroom. I know I don't want to change this room. It's the perfect size for like a main bedroom with a walk-in closet here. So this is going to stay like this forever. And being that I started off in this room, I feel like it would be smart to actually upgrade this thing. I think this tells me, yeah, you can have the big bedroom now if you want because mommy left me. All right. So we'll sell everything, including the uh, post-it note. Someone bought that for a dollar. Like why? $450 for that. Okay. Whoa. I didn't even know that was a freaking carpet. That's cool. All right. So we've stripped the room. I do actually like this window. You can play with the shutters and whatnot, but it does look dated. So we're going to sell that, have a nice hole in the wall. We might try and build a massive window here if we can. Obviously, the bigger the window, the better. So first and foremost, we'll do that. All right. I like the look of that. I need to go check from the outside what it's going to look like, though. So we got three big windows now. We do need to edit them a bit, but it does actually kind of match the house well. I don't plan on keeping the white tiling. I just want to make sure it doesn't look like an, an eyesore from the outside. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, we got some patching up to do. I need to edit these a bit too. So yeah, we want the windowsill on. Do I want shutters on the side ones? Maybe. No. I do like the mutton bars. Um, and I think we're going to keep the color for now until we figure out exactly what we want to do. So yeah, we'll just add the windowsill so it goes all the way across. That looks good. And then we just got to copy this color because it is slightly different. And then we'll paste that style over to those. And they are all the same color. Perfect. Next up, what the hell is this ugly thing? Is it... Hold on, I'm just going to break it. Screw it. Is that the outside? No, why is that there? I thought it was like a chimney stack or something, but I don't think it is. Uh, so, I, was that like an accent wall? No thanks. Get rid of it. Oh, that's a, that's a problem. I can see the outside. I don't, I, I don't like being able to see the outside. Damn it. Well, I guess I was correct. That is the chimney. Is there even a chimney there? Oh, there is. Okay, so small details. I think we're going to sell that, though. Thank you very much. And I guess I'm going to break a hole through my whole freaking building now because I don't want that there. Okay, I kind of fixed it. I put do not clip on the main roof. And now there's just this thing hanging out, which is technically a mini roof. I can't actually sell these, so I'm not really sure how to get rid of it yet. Uh, we'll have to figure that out later on. I don't know if you can delete a roof that you've already placed. Um, but yeah, that should be looking good from the outside. We got rid of the whole chimney and we just need to do a little bit of patching in here, but it looks like it will be good. Uh, let's get a light in here. Maybe there we go. We got a work light and everything. All right. So we'll patch up the small little thing that I made a mistake with and voila, just like new. <laughs> All right. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I've always wanted a fire pole in my bedroom. So I think, you know what I'm going to do next and that's build one. Hopefully so. Oh, damn it. That's where my bed's going to go though. But that's like the perfect spot. I mean, you can fire pole right to the front of your house from your bedroom. Is that not the dream or what? Unfortunately, I just have a giant hole in my ground now, but I might be able to get a small bed over here that or I'll just have to put the bed over here. I like having my bed by the window, but if we have a fire pole, I don't think we have a choice. Now, the problem is I've been trying to find a pole in this game. It's hard. This is the only thing I can find, and I can't change the orientation. I know there's a button that says you can, but you can't. So I was going to stack these on top of each other, but you can't. Um, so I might need to build a square pole. I mean, regardless, it works. And by that, I mean gravity makes you fall through the hole. So, I mean, it is a fire exit if you think about it, but I need to have the pole or nobody understands what's going on. It's just a hole in the ground at that point. All right, let me try something. I have an idea. So I built a small, well, wall and oh my god yes yes now what happens the big question is when i get rid of this after i'm able to place this does this stay <gasps> yes all right sometimes you got to get crafty but it looks like this will be kind of a pole it's, it's gonna be a bumpy pole but i don't have a damn choice oh i'm so glad this is gonna work i think the alignment okay we need to go over a little bit but we'll put it right in the center Please. Yes, it goes right to the roof and everything. That actually doesn't look too bad at all. I mean, I had to get crafty. And we got a freaking fire pole in our bedroom, baby. This is my childhood dream right now. <gasps> I just realized what's going on. No, what? All right, so what makes it fall? Because I've reinstalled it, obviously. It's good. It's got to be like a certain distance between them. You know what? I think these are literally just stacked on top of each other and our physics base right now, as you can see by the top. If that if that's the case, I'm fine. Please. I hate you. I, 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 I hate you. Come on. Just is it too much to ask for a freaking pole in my bedroom. Well, the only thing I can think of doing is having a square pole. I mean, I didn't want to have to go this route, but the game has left me no choice. All right, well, it looks dark right now. It's only because it's dark in this room. But uh, yeah, we got a Minecraft pole, basically. I'm happy with it. It's better than nothing. And it's all I can do anyways. All right, back to the task at hand. I don't even know what I'm doing in this room, by the way. Besides building a fire pole, of course. All right, and for this room, I'm going to go for a fish theme or I guess pirate theme. Um, We'll see where it goes. I don't know how many items I have for everything, but I do know there's a lot of fish in this game. And I do like fish, so I feel like my bedroom should be fish-based. All right, I want to go for a nice light wood. I like this cool wood. That sounds good to me. Uh, so we'll try that, see what it looks like. Definitely better than the flooring that we have right now. I don't like the look of this. This will definitely brighten up the room as well. And 
I wish I could change the grain direction. It's going this way. I want it to go that way because I want to turn that wall into wood as well. Okay, good timing. I just ran out of my surface finish and we are done. I don't know if I'll keep that wall or not. I don't hate it. I just need to change some stuff around. So we're going to put the weird chandelier on top of my bed just because it's so low hanging. Uh, obviously, let's get some lighting in here so we can see during the nighttime. There we go. And that's looking better. You can see it's actually metal now. Um, obviously, we still have a lot to do. Oh my god, I can put textures on wood. I didn't know this. Do I have any fish ones? Yeah, of course there's fish ones. Uh, why is it black? Okay, there's... There, I mean, you can just customize so much in this game. <laughs> I want to change the... I've had such a hard time changing the bed sheet. I don't even know how to do that. Yes, that's what I wanted. There we go. We got the uh, blue fish bed sheet. Nice. All right, now obviously we still have a lot to do. We uh, should probably work on the walls next because they need quite a bit of work. I don't know. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to keep with blue. I'm going to have some blue walls. All right, is this blue or green? I can't... I, I'm I'm slightly colorblind, so... I think this is a dark green, isn't it? I don't like it. I think I do want to have the bottom border frame that was originally on here. It just looked really nice. And it might make this look a little bit more detailed. Right now, it's looking a little bare. I believe this is called fishbone cut. So why don't we use fishbone cut in our fish room? All right, we got the uh, panels down. I like the detail of this now, but there's way too much wood in this room, obviously. So I think I'm going to get rid of this wall. Obviously, I need to change this door because it's just a different color wood. I am i don't know. I might even want to change the floor, but I do like the light floor. So I'll probably keep that. It just matches with the bed. But yeah, I think we'll put something else on this big wall here. All right, there we go. We have a fishy wallpaper. Do I want to go? Oh, no, I, that'd be too much. If I went all the way around the room, I, this whole room would just be fish, which is kind of the point, but I feel like that's too many fish. So we're going to sell all that. I'm happy with this. This is a nice layout. Okay, we're finding quite a bit. We got some fish on the walls. Got obviously a big pirate wheel. Uh, slowly getting fish posters. The fishes of Pinnacove. I need some sort of small table. Ooh, that's another fish thing. Um, We'll hold that here because I want as many fish as possible. Uh, if I can get some sort of table for that, that'd be great. Well, I was looking for some kind of driftwood or, like, refurbished wood table because I think it would look good in here, but I found these two. They're obviously more modern. I kind of like them, though. They fit the bed a bit. And I added, obviously, more fish-related knickknacks here. We just need a lamp now. Watch it be a fish lamp. That'd be great. Well, we don't got a fish lamp, but we do have the rope lamps. I have multiple options, as you can see. I think we're going to go for maybe the wall-mounted one. Why can't I wall-mount it? What the... What? Wait. It has to be on wood? It can't be on fit. Oh, <laughs> I forgot there's beads here. I didn't even see them. Uh, okay. Throw the beads over there, and there we go. We'll put that there. I don't like the black of that. So we'll change that style and move that to more, you know, white base, being that most of this room is bright. All right, the only other thing I think I could really do in here is maybe put a small computer desk over here. Um, I don't really need one. I mean, it's a video game. Of course, I don't need one. But um, I feel like it might look nice if I can find the right desk. So let's try that. All right, we got my little gaming station. This thing looks great. Of course, we got to get the fish gamer seat. <laughs> I'm just going insane with fish. I'm really happy with this room, though. I mean, obviously, it's a pretty tight fit. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Just added some small details around. Uh, obviously, next up, we're just going to build a quick walk-in closet. All right, so just copy the style over from the original room. It'd be kind of weird if my closet was a different style from my bedroom. I think I will sell this. Oh, sorry, buddy. That's the one thing I didn't sell in this whole thing because that's the first thing we did in this game was place that little guy. Um, But yeah, I think I will transfer over one of these windows. So we'll just duplicate that and this should hopefully fit in here. Perfect. Don't have to do worry about anything. So the windows match. You don't r really match the room, little guy, but you can stay, of course. All right, and this wardrobe matches the mirror. So, oh, sorry, not the mirror. I was looking at the mirror. The floor, so I like that. That looks good. We'll just add maybe some sort of standing mirror here now that I got mirrors on the brain. All right, something like that. And there's definitely too few of fish in here. There's none. So we'll give my buddy a little yarn buddy to hang out with. You can join him, Mr. Crayfish. And we'll just put a massive marlin on the wall. 
All right, I think that's good. The one thing I almost forgot to add was a nice wall clock. All right, so we'll put that there like that. That's a nice little uh, clock. And I think I'm done. And yeah, one day this whole house will hopefully look half as good as this room. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of House Flipper 2. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Get the frick out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god. <laughs>